console versus PC. What are the differences playing between the two? Are PC players really better? Is it harder to rank up on console? Is controller and mouse and keyboard really that different? We're gonna go over all those questions and more in this video from someone like me who has played both for years. I play lots of console and now I'm playing lots of PC and Overwatch. So I promise I'm not gonna be one-sided in either way. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first things first, mouse and keyboard versus controller. If you play on controller, the game basically aims for you and that's for babies. Come on, grow up. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Calm down, I play on both, okay? So if you don't know, I used to play Overwatch console for about two years, maybe a little bit more, and I got up to masters on that. Now it's a little bit different than ranking on PC, but let's talk about that later. Right now we're talking about the differences between controller and mouse and keyboard in this game in particular. So controller got mine right here used to play it on an xbox controller the thing in particular about overwatch is if you use controller on a pc you're not going to get any aim assist at all on console of course you're going to but on pc they're really trying to encourage mouse and keyboard players only you can still use a controller but it's going to be a severe disadvantage if you do overall i just want to say as you know it is much easier to aim on a mouse and keyboard than it is on a controller that's why you have extra help on the controller because it's harder to aim so because it's a little easier to aim on mouse and keyboard you're able to pull off a little bit higher level skill things even in lower lobbies like in gold you can see nice flicks turnaround 180s or completely just great tracking it seems you need to be a little higher up in the ranks to achieve that kind of good gameplay on controller slash console player now this kind of leads into my next point the first thing i want to bring up is there's a lot of console players that are much better than pc players it's not like one is better than the other it's just that the rank system is a little different what do i mean by that well in general like i said it's easier to aim on pc and most people if you're buying a gaming computer anyway around i don't know 500 to a thousand dollars you're probably taking the game a little bit more serious in general than a lot of console players do at the lower ranks so keeping the aim assist thing in mind versus mouse and keyboard and the fact that the pc players are usually taking it just a little bit more seriously i guess i just mean the lobbies are a bit harder in general on pc that's all i mean and that's just per rank i've heard lots of people actually investigate this and do in-depth analysis on this it's usually about a rank to a rank and a half difference in skill level meaning if you're gold on pc it's about platinum maybe diamond on console skill level wise that's how hard the lobbies will be and that doesn't mean the console players are worse than all like i said a lot of console players are better than pc players it just means the rank system is a bit different now like i mentioned earlier i got to masters when i played console a few different times but on pc i'm in diamond right now and i'm on my way up to masters but i can tell you it is a much higher skill level that i'm playing right now in my diamond games versus my masters games on console there's much more coordination there's much more counter picking there's just lots more everybody's talking about and doing it just seems a much more intense or serious game at this level in diamond versus being at a higher rank on console and i don't want anyone thinking i prefer pc players over console i played console for more of my gaming life than pc i'm just stating the facts as i've played them now for the elephant in the room something i'm sure you've been thinking about but i've yet to bring up and that is the performance of the game itself console versus pc in esports titles like this it is a night and day difference to have a pc running on high fps with a proper monitor versus console it's not even close it is just so much better on pc some games like AAA titles where you're going through a story it's not quite as noticeable but an esports title like this it is very noticeable now i'm gonna put a picture up on your screen right now just to kind of demonstrate fps and latency benefits but there is so many more benefits in general to pc i'm just gonna show you one just to demonstrate what i'm talking about so as you can see right here you're getting much more visual information per second what does that do exactly well it allows you to react in much more real-time instances and play a a lot more in accordance to what's going on as it's presented to you instead of a frame or two too late i mean look at this picture right here to where the opponent is in all the same exact real time but the fps is a bit different i mean that is crazy you can't even see it in certain frames yet that's where they're positioned in real time now keep in mind when you watch this footage that a lot of console players are playing at 60 fps i believe with the next gen there's ways to make it 120 fps but a lot of those console players aren't even playing on a 120 hertz monitor or tv so really, they're just stuck at 60 FPS or 60 Hertz. So look at those numbers and anything above that while you watch this footage. Remember, an average PC setup has 144 Hertz 
or more. I mean, look right here. On the 240 display, you can actually see them and already get an early shot. On the 60 FPS, they're not even there yet. This is what I mean about real-time information. Now, it says NVIDIA Reflex here. That's just another further optimization that PC players have that consoles don't. Just to further demonstrate how much of a disadvantage and how much better of an experience it is on the PC. After I saw this kind of stuff, I can't unsee it. I hope you all enjoyed this video, learning about the differences between console and PC players. Now, go out there and enjoy your games. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again soon. Hi, Keller. Got it. And go check out one of these videos now if you want. The algorithm really thinks you'll enjoy it.